in a school a total of 300 admissions were expected okay so there's a new session going on in a school okay so let's call this as the school a total of 300 admissions were expected so let's say there is one variable is the students which are expected so we are told that 300 students were expected and the number of new classes to be built was 12. So they basically expected that if 300 students comes in, we'll have 12 classes. So let's say if this is the school, or rather the new one portion, what they said was 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So as a new guy will come in, they will drop him into a particular class. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Okay? So there's a particular number of students which is plugged into each of these classes. And there are 12 such classes. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 classes which are to be built for 300 students. However, the actual admission of students was 375. So the number of students which actually came in were 375, right? So basically, there were 375 students who came in. So the number of students actually increased. I mean, from here to here, it's showing a reverse trend. But there's an increase in the number of students, right? Now, if the number of students have increased, obviously, what will happen? Will you require less classes? No you will require more classes. Why? Because you'll need these 300 students would have gone and adjusted in all these classes. But there are 75 more students who need to come and fit in somewhere. So you need to build additional classes for them. Now, how many classes? That we don't know. And that is what we have to find out. Right? So now in this case, what is happening? This Students number is what we know, the number of classes we don't know, right? Now, we know that for these 300 students, 300 students require 12 classes. Now, we know this variable of students, so we take it on the left side, right? 300 students require 12 classes. So, how many classes will one student require? Obviously, the number of students is getting reduced, right? So if this number gets reduced, obviously you don't require all these classes. End of the day, one single student can't go in and sit in all the classes, right? He'll be going and sitting somewhere in one class along with the other students. So one student will require less number of classes, therefore 12 upon 300 because the lesser number of classes are required, lesser students, lesser classes right so one student will require 12 by 300 classes but how many students do we have we have 375 students now the number of students has increased so if the number of student increase obviously the classes has to increase if something has to be increased we multiply it into 375 now, by experience, I'm telling you that both these numbers can be divided by 25, right? So, 152. Here, 1, 12 carry, 125, 5. This 12 will knock off this 12, so you're left with 1 into 15 or 15 classes. So, basically, you require 15 classes to fit in these 375 students. And obviously, if you notice, the number of students increased, the number of classes also increased. So what case is this? Is this a direct variation or an indirect variation? Yes, it's a direct variation in unitary method. 